Hi Aries, Narai here, going to do a reading for you. I hope you guys are well. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. My name is Narai, I go by Nay, and this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node. Yes. So let's go ahead and get started and see what we have for you. This is going to be rather quick. Messages and guidance for Capricorn, please. I know yesterday I did a reading for Libra. Ooh. And it was like five minutes. It may have been four. And I was like, holy cow. Like, it was so straight to the point. I just, I couldn't have asked. What? I'm still shuffling. But the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups showed. Eight of Pentacles is about working on yourself. Um... Brushing up on skills in the Knight of Cups is somebody romantic. We're going to see if those come out. Two more shuffles, please, and thank you. Awesome. All right, Spirit. Um, well... I have the Four of Cups energy. This is somebody sitting back and reflecting on things that may have happened. Taking time away. This is like you dwelling on something that you don't have, not seeing what's right there. And then I see the Hierophant. The Hierophant here. Maybe you're dwelling on the fact that somebody in you did not have the same views when it comes to a relationship or maybe r different religious views prevented you and somebody from getting together but this could be showing that there's somebody in your energy that you don't even see that have the same morals and values as you that has the same belief as you when it comes to spirituality maybe somebody's willing to convert i don't know i never talk about conversion or converting whatever word you want to use what is that i have the seven of swords you had somebody that deceived you and was trying to get away with something. Somebody conniving and sneaky. Somebody that couldn't be trusted. Maybe they stole from you. It's like the type of person that thinks that they're getting away with stuff. Not realizing how obvious this shit is. And it's like I feel as though as I feel that while this was happening you were sitting there observing. And now... Um, even though you may feel a little sad at the fact that something happened. And this could be somebody sad over you too. Somebody sad that they didn't choose you. They may have chose somebody else or put other people before you. Um, and this was somebody you thought you were going to marry. Or this was a person that led you to believe you guys were on the same page and you weren't because they were trying to get away with something and they were deceitful. And then now you're in this Queen of Swords energy where you're more of the observer and you're not wearing your heart on your sleeves anymore. You're more mind focused. Mind over heart. Head over heart. And now you have boundaries. It's like, hey, these are my boundaries. Do not cross them or this is not going to work. Because the amount of disrespect... You, you won't tolerate it. It's, I'm just, I just heard sharp tongue. Like as soon as, as soon as stuff starts heading south, it comes out your mouth. Exactly what you think and how you feel. <laughs> I just heard gone with the wind. <laughs> Ooh. I have the Sword of Swords. 
you will go like the wind and not deal with somebody's crap and then take some time alone to meditate and be by yourself. I feel like you guys kind of feel like I don't need somebody in my life to bring drama. I can do bad all by myself. That's what I'm hearing, Aries. Because you guys know you are the empress. You're in the empress energy. You guys know your marriage material. You're not going to settle for less if this is what you want. Um, some of you may not believe in marriage, but you do want something stable with someone. And if the person you're dealing with cannot uh, provide like relationship stability, you don't want any part of it is what I'm gathering. But this is you guys focusing on and nurturing yourself. I feel like for a lot of you, finally, you're your number one priority. Um, I feel like people don't have the best things to say about Aries sometimes. Um, but all Aries are not the same. I feel like this is you taking care of you and yours. And if somebody comes into your life and they're not contributing to you like you're contributing to them... They need to go. You're making sure you and your little universe are good. Ooh. Look at that. The two of cups. This is a partner. This is an equal give and take. <clears throat> this is a mutual attraction. Hmm. Hmm. It would be so funny if I pull the emperor on the other side of that. If I do, that means you guys are meeting somebody definitely. Hmm. I have the knight of wands. This makes me think of you guys telling you guys not to be impulsive when you meet somebody. Try to be patient and take your time and not be impulsive. When we're impulsive, mistakes can happen. And then I have the Ace of Cups. This is a new romantic beginning, a new emotional beginning. This could be a friendship. This can be a love relationship. This could be something that you're starting that brings you like so much joy. Music, art, being creative. And then I have the Chariot. I feel like you're not going to see this coming when it comes to somebody um, that you can have a romantic relationship with. And I think the reason being is because a lot of you are not looking for this. You don't, I feel that there are quite a few of you that don't want that. You're just like, I just need to be by myself. But there's happiness ahead. There is happiness ahead. I just had to see that one. But there is happiness ahead. Um... You deserve the happiness. You deserve to be honored and cherished um, and respected. But this is about you trusting the universe and, and having a positive outlook. De wait, going to bed deciding you're going to have a good day the next morning. Waking up being grateful for the fact that you're still here. Being thankful that you have a job even if you don't like your job. Being grateful that you have an apartment, even if your apartment is not the best. I feel that some of you are going through an awakening with the judgment card. And that there may be something that comes along really soon and you're going to have to make a judgment call. And you may have a little hesitation because you're not going to know what to do. But you're going to have to look within to find that answer. Or just, I'm going to leave it there. So Aries, that is what I have for you. <clears throat> I feel like love is coming. Um, I didn't intend for this to be a love reading. But I feel like love is coming. And I feel that love is going to come for those that are not looking for it faster than it's going to come for those that are. Um, so that's what I have for you. So I appreciate you for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And until next time, love you. Bye.